This is Engineering Marvels. Imagine a bridge that requires no maintenance, a road that never needs costly repairs, no traffic jams or excessive emissions from reconstruction activities. Such infrastructure is a step closer to reality if concrete has the ability to heal itself. Concrete is used throughout the construction industry from building foundations to bridges and underground parking lots. However, traditional concrete has a major flaw. It tends to crack when subjected to tension. Tiny surface cracks in a concrete structure can lead to overall deterioration if water or other chemicals seep in and corrode the steel reinforcement. In recent years, researchers around the world have been trying to create self-healing concrete. A self-healing concrete mix would significantly reduce the amount of time and money needed for repair and potentially extend a structure's life. Several proposals for creating self-healing concrete exist. Most proposals feature tiny microcapsules in the concrete. The microcapsules rupture when a small crack appears and a healing agent or sealant is released, solidifying and sealing up the crack. Frequently, the microcapsule is filled with a polymer or plastic, but some researchers have proposed bacterial spores. When exposed to water, the bacteria form limestone to seal up the crack. Oxygen is also reduced when bacteria reproduce, making it harder for rust to form on the steel reinforcement. Another proposal features a self-healing coating applied to existing concrete structures. The coating would have the small microcapsules that would react when exposed to sunlight, repairing the concrete coating and preventing water from penetrating the sealed concrete. All of these proposals illustrate that the potential of self-healing concrete is enormous. As anyone in construction can tell you, those tiny little cracks can create major problems. Potholes, however, may be with us for the long haul. Engineering Marvels is a joint production of the Frank H. Dodderwhite College of Engineering at Texas A&M University, Kingsville, and South Texas Public Radio. Past episodes are available online at tamuk.edu forward slash engineering. I'm Jason Martin. 